Hi, today I'm looking at Left Hand Free by Alt-J. Uh, and I, I found that this song, uh, there's, there's a few YouTube lesson videos on this. I I can't really find one that where they're, they're doing it right, I don't think, anyway. So hopefully this one is, but you tell me in the comments if you think it isn't. So it's quite a tricky song to work out. Um, uh, sussing out the tuning was the first thing. Now the, the tuning for this, I think, is in open D which is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So if I just play my, my string so that you can hear that and you can tune to it. So that's the tuning for the song. Uh, and the, the tricky part when you're working this song out, and I think this is this is the reason I struggled to work it out and probably why other people have as well, is there's a, a guitar part that, that joins in with the main guitar, but it's on a separate guitar, but it, it sounds like it's part of the same guitar riff and you just cannot get it in this tuning. Um, and when you watch him play it live, he's not playing it, but you can still hear it. So they've got it on a pre-recorded thing somehow. Uh, again, if, if you disagree with that, please tell me in the comments because this took a bit of thinking about this song and uh, I'd be interested to know if anyone else has any other, other ideas about how this was done. So basically you've got the main riff which is um, used for the verse, also for part of the chorus and it goes like this. We've got a three on the sixth string and you just play that note, I'm using second finger for this. <coughs> And then third finger flattens down over the middle two strings of uh, third fret and just play that as an upstroke. So you're down up. And then we play first fret on the fourth string and you play that four times and then play it a fifth time and hammer on to the three. So it's. So I'll put those together. It's. And then the next part is first fret on the, the thickest string, the E string, and then followed by a two on the fifth string and then a three on the fifth string. So that's just, and you can see which fingers I'm using for that, first, second, third. And then the second finger comes across to the three that we started with. And then you play with your first finger a two on the third string, but keep the bass note there. Then play the bass note again, then the two again, then another bass note. And he slightly palm mutes this bit, especially the bass note. So that's the, the main riff. I'll, I'll just put that all together for you slowly. the main riff that happens in the verse and it's it's four times on the second time there's the part I mentioned earlier which is I now think is a separate guitar playing uh, I'm not sure whether it's in this tuning even but if it was in this tuning I think the notes would be these now that is a, a six on the fourth string a four on the third string three on the second string three on the first string it's almost like a banjo kind of roll the way they play it. But as I said, you can't really get that part at the same time as the other part. You can see why, because that is, is in a diff completely different position to the bit we're doing down here. So um, if you want to put that bit in, use a loop pedal or something like that, or another guitarist. And the main riff is played three times exactly the same. The second one has that little overdubbed part I just mentioned. And then the fourth time, it's nearly exactly the same, but when you get to that last part where we did this, it doesn't do the last bass notes, it's just plus it catches the fourth string open when you play the upstrokes on the on the third string. So it's this. So 
there's a little bit of a clashing kind of angry sound. I quite like that bit. Uh, and it really sets up the chorus. So that I'll play the third time in the verse, which is the standard one, followed by the fourth time, which is that one. I'll do it slowly. <laughs> Then we go to the chorus, there's two guitars here. Uh, the first one plays the main riff that we just did twice. So. Okay, and then the other guitar, at the same time as that, is playing this. So chord where you're playing, because we're in open D, these are all major chords. So we're playing an F, which is third fret, to an E flat, which is first fret. And he plays the F again, just before then repeating it. And then the second time he doesn't play the F again. I'll just play those, those um, four bars for you so you can hear that. So it's I'll try and count, I'll do that again, I'll count the beats, you can hear the beat. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you notice that the E flats were pushed. So it comes in a bit early. So that's played with on another guitar at the same time as the main riff twice. And then back to the first guitar again, after he's played the main riff twice, plays power chord, which is just sixth fret, cover these three strings, and just play that chord to the eighth fret power chord in this rhythm. Okay, so I'll play that whole part for guitar one. guitar two, which is a very similar thing, but when he goes up to the six and the eight, he plays all of the strings. So guitar two chorus is this. Uh, the bridge comes just after that chorus and still if I could refer to the guitars as guitar one and guitar two, guitar one is the one that does the main riff. So guitar one plays the main riff twice more and guitar two plays the three, the, the full chord here, the F through third fret and the E flat uh, first fret, plays those again like this. So it's just like in the beginning of the chorus, except that he does the three, the, the, the F, right at the end of that last bar as well, whereas in the chorus he didn't, he just paused, but this time he does that. So I'll just demonstrate both of those. So guitar one, bridge. <laughs> In verse two, for um, guitar one, what we're doing is the main riff three times, so the same thing, just like we did before, three times, followed by the power chord thing we did in the chorus. So that's all guitar one does. Guitar two wasn't playing in the first verse, but now it is. It's virtually the same as the chorus, like this. So you'll no 
notice the difference was it was three times around that sequence before then going up to the six and the eight. So it's all very repetitive. And after that, you repeat the chorus and repeat verse two. So the, the verse two is the one where you have both guitars playing. Obviously, if you're playing this on your own, you, you can pick and choose which parts you want to play. Probably would be mostly guitar one, I would say. Then we've got a strange kind of keyboard solo, which happens. Now, guitar one for the keyboard solo plays the, the main riff once, which is this. And he plays it again, but like we did in the first verse, he, at the end, he catches the fourth string open. So if I put both of those together, it'd be this. So I just caught the extra string and didn't hit the last bass note, just like we did in the first verse. And then after that, it goes something different. It's a chord where we play open sixth string, and then fifth string 12, fourth string 12, third string 11, and first string and second string are both open. So you've got this. Okay, and does that twice. And then we go to the F here, which was straight all the way across third fret, and plays that three times. Back up to this chord again, three times. Back down to the F again, quite slowly, four times. So I'm just gonna play, because it's a bit confusing hearing all these parts, I'm just gonna play the whole of the keyboard solo section, guitar one. And then guitar two, simplest way for me to show you what happens on this is just to play it. So this is guitar two for the keyboard solo. similar to the chorus in the second verse. So the flattened across F, E flat, and then on the end, just power chords. So just hitting the three strings, three thickest strings, three, and then, oh, so open and then three, then open, then three again. Okay, so after that, we repeat the chorus, same as before, repeat verse one, so that means the second guitar is stopped. And then it's just an extended chorus where the main riffs play four times rather than two. It's kind of self-explanatory when, when you hear the song. But that's all of the parts for it. So it's a little bit fiddly and a bit complicated looking at the two different guitar parts, but I think if, if you want to play the song accurately, that, that's what you need to do. You need to use a loop pedal or something, and um, or another person, that'd be the best thing. Two people play it. Uh, and it should sound like the song. So I'm quite confident these are the right notes and the right tuning and everything, but please, comment if you disagree because I'd, I'd be interested to, to know what other people think uh, if you like this lesson please click like and uh, if please subscribe if you haven't already and any questions put them in the comments okay thanks